After six months, I'm back to give you guys 30 game changer producer tips in under 1200 seconds. Don't clown me, I'm about to get a haircut tomorrow. I guarantee you if you guys apply these, all of these are gonna help you level up this year. These gems are gonna range from advanced production tips to branding tips, which means everybody can apply them no matter what you use. As always, if you guys want some fire sounds, check out the soundgallery.com, that's my site. I'll talk about it more later, but let's get this video started. All right, so to kick things off, number one, if you're stuck in melodies or maybe you're overthinking it, try doing this. Use either A, type scales, or B, transpose. If you don't know what type scales are, FL Studio has this feature all the way up to the top where you see this keyboard. If you right click it, you're gonna see root and then you're gonna see on the right side different scales. So whatever you select as your root is gonna be your home key and whatever you select on the scale is gonna be a different type of sound. You could choose any random one and whatever you choose, you'll be able to play it on your keyboard. So I'm gonna choose F sharp minor harmonic. As soon as you hit the piano roll, it'll record it to that scale. This is definitely a dope feature, but if you don't know your intervals or scales, it'll be a little tricky to come out with some melodies. That's why I go with option B. Option B is transposing a key that you already know. So me personally, I only know A minor, C major, and C minor. I know some other ones, but those are the ones that I know best. So I have this melody right here. Just something simple, nothing I would battle like Mozart with, right? Now, if I go to the VST and I hit the wrench tool and I just transpose the different keys, it'll sound different. And if I want another key, I just hit add the key and I'll hit A and it'll tell me which key it transposed to. Approaching it this way is all about convenience and having fun. You don't have to know all your scales right now, you can just do it this way. And if you don't believe me, some of your favorites like T-Minus, Sizzle, ATL Jacob, Nick Mira, and so many more approach it this way. Now the second one is a super big gem and I put it out a couple months ago and it went crazy wild. This is how you navigate through a drum loop a lot easier. These two knobs right here are super slept on. Say I have a drum loop like this. Instead of throwing it into Edison and then chopping it and then later having to go through the slice audio to find these, you could just use these two buttons, adjust with the length and find with the sample start and then adjust and then you could hit trim. So this is the kick. If I want the snare, I'll just find the waveform. If I want to give it more tail, adjust the length. Doing it that way is a lot easier because when you change computers, you only have one waveform as opposed to going and searching through your sliced audio folder and having to find the different little audio files that sometimes could get rewritten. This is definitely one of those work smarter, not harder type of things. And it also reminds me of like how they used to chop sounds in the MPC. The third one is free VSTs. Now I'm not gonna show you all the free VSTs that I know because that'll take too much time, but I definitely went viral a lot of times showing you guys free VSTs. So I'm gonna put a list down below as well as the links to where you can get the best ones. I'm gonna say this right now, get on this one before it gets everywhere because this one got its own sound and it's free and people aren't on it yet. Majority of these tips are questions that you guys wanted to know that I asked on IG. Number four, how do you make your one shots more unique? You could do it by layering textures, effects channels, guitar pedals, samplers, granulizers. There's like multiple ways to get creative, but to save you some time because you know I wouldn't stir you wrong, I'm gonna give you guys a free preview of one of the kits that I'm coming out with called the Game Shark Volume 3. If you know about the first one and second one, they're pretty much goaded. And you know, I take a lot of time with making my sound. So here's a free mini kit for you guys down below. This is what some of them sound like. It's just a preview of what's to come, but I can't wait to share with you guys the full kit as well as like the videos that I have for it because it's about to get crazy. <laughs> Number five, how do I make my hi-hats more unique? Change either the texture of the sound or I like to use a glitch plugin and then turn it all the way down to where you can barely hear it, but it's more so felt. It's like a background texture. And as far as changing the sound, try doing something different. Try a live recording or recording stuff from your crib like this and turning it into something that other people can't duplicate. Number six, my kick and 808 don't gel together. What can I do? You could either A, use a different kick or B, pitch it. Hold on, let me pull this B. I'll give you a better example.
Okay, so to me, this 808 gels. Now, don't be alarmed that you see an older version of it. Uh, this is just what I use for this beat. Let's do it if I reverse polarity. What I was saying was you could either use a different kick, reverse polarity it. Sometimes a weak kick isn't always weak. It's just like you got to reverse the polarity of it, which basically flips it. Or you could take the 808 and just nudge the attack a little bit. That can help too, but here's something that I do that you can do, and it'll make your kicks even punchier and snappier. It's use this pogo knob. So if you drag it just slightly, like maybe under five, it'll sound a lot punchier. Now if I go way too crazy with it, it sounds like an EDM kick. But if I drag it to the right, it sounds too flat, so I would have to use a different pitch for it to sound good. So just try to find somewhere tastefully for it. All of those methods work. Just find what works best for your beat because all beats are different. If you don't know where it's at in FL21, just hit this button and the pogo knob is right here. Same effect. Not many people know about that. I've been holding out on that for a very long time. <laughs> now that you know, you know. And if you did know before, don't be mad that others know now. It's all about helping everybody express their creativity so they can take care of their families. It's no gatekeeping here, I promise you. Number seven, if you wanna automate third-party VSTs but you can't, here's an easy button you could use. So usually when we hit create automation clip, we can hit it on any VST that's native for FL. But if I wanted to use this free VST that I just showed you, if you right click it, nothing pops up. So all you gotta do is just move it, go up here to this knob, right click and hit automation clip. And look, you're gonna see a change right here. Simple and easy. Before you used to have to go to tools and go to last tweak and do that. You could also do it that way, but I find this one more convenient because if you're using a Kai MPK or any MIDI, you can assign any knob to these knobs. Just click the button, then move that knob you want, then move any knob on your MIDI controller and it'll look just like this. And now look, it's moving. It's just a lot easier. When I put that as a short, folks are killing me. I'm like, bro, no, you don't understand. This is how you can do it easier. <laughs> Number eight, what's a good beginner setup? Listen, whatever you can make music on. There's a couple music apps that you can use on your phone that are great to start with. I know Steve Lacey was making music on his phone. I used the damn USB with FL Studio 10 on it to get some things rolling. That's how I sold my first beat. But for argument's sake, let's say you don't have two bands to spend on a laptop or a gaming desktop like I have. Let's say you got a laptop for Christmas that isn't that great, but it works for school. School. Or you happen to find an old laptop that has Windows Vista on it that's like over 15 years old. In any of those cases, I highly recommend you get an SSD. An SSD changed my life. And if you're looking for an SSD, I got you. This is what I use. It's perfect. Just get a Velcro strip for the back of your laptop. So invest in an SSD until you got the money to get a good laptop. You don't really need much, just these type of specs. Whew. I need to speed through these because I'm taking too long. Number nine, take a day for efficiency. That means make your acapellas, take a day to find new sounds samples take a day to find new inspiration so that means like songs maybe like five songs that you're really feeling put them in a playlist and try to make your own versions of those songs maybe organize your yearly folder like this is what my yearly folder looks like collabs drums finished beats uh, flps and zips loops and then splice content because i'd be making splice videos too there's many ways to be efficient so take a day to be efficient number 10 use an acapella site like or acapella extractor. Those are pretty free. I made this beat and I overcomplicated it. So then I put this acapella on there and then I simplified the hi-hats down. Just get creative with it. 11, is there a VST that can do that? Yes, RX9 by Isotope. I have a shorts VST that I link down below where I show you guys how to do it in 60 seconds. It's what I personally use all the time. Number 12, how can I get my ideas out faster? Use percussion loops. Hold on, let me put you on some saws real quick. Listen, percussion loops save lives. So I got this melody right here. I heard that and I'm like, sheesh. The drums gotta be super hard. I had an idea. I went to my percussion loop kit, which at the time wasn't out, but now it is out. It's called the Formula One Percussion Loop Kit. And I heard this. I just dropped the 808, additional snare and a clap and it sounded like this.
Here's another example. That's ice cold. <laughs> the percussion loop kit is on sale on my site, The Sound Gallery, which I plugged earlier in the video. Got a whole bunch of hats, midis, textures, one shots, one shot percussions, all sorts of stuff. And even a tutorial in there too, to show you guys how to use them. So if you wanna cop that, link down below. Ah, this one's gonna be hard because it's gonna be an announcement. Number 13, how important is branding? Huge, oh my God. Listen, branding is everywhere. I'm not gonna get super in-depth about it because I did do like three videos on branding for Splice. I'll link them down below, but I will do some really in-depth videos on branding on the channel. So definitely subscribe for that. But one thing I can tell you right now is people buy authenticity. But the thing is you can't buy authenticity with nothing other than action and experience. Your actions create experiences and your experience experiences shape who you are. There's far too many people that try to be something they're not in order to stand out. When in all reality, there's only one you. And if you're your authentic self, you're automatically gonna stand out. So as of today, I'm no longer going by Ivan Art. I'm going by Isaac Duarte. That's my real name. That's who I really am. And I wanna share that with the world. These are gonna be all the socials. And don't worry, I'm not in any trouble. I'm still gonna be doing tutorials. I'm not deleting anything. I just had this realization when I read this Virgil Abloh quote. Don't be afraid to stop and start a new brand out of nowhere. As they also say, if it's it's broke, fix it. New ideas come all the time. I often see people too precious with old ideas. A lot has happened since last May. Maybe I'll talk about it in a dedicated video, but for now, the number one thing I'm focused on is growth and placements, baby. <laughs> number 14, if you guys want a hotkey to reach all the buttons easier, just hit F3 and they're all at your fingertips. It also works in the piano roll too. Number 15, how can I get my network up? Every month I post a plug yourself post and allow everybody to network in the comments. There's people that are artists, diamond writing, songwriters, uh, producers, all sorts of people. So you need to get in there and network with people because I'm giving the introduction. And if you can network with people that are on the same level as you, eventually you guys will be the guys. You could also go to Genius's website and search through the credits and find people, engineers, photographers, videographers, producers, etc., and start building with everybody. It's all about shots. That's definitely something that I gotta do. I gotta build more with people. Face card is important too. I also wanna announce as of this video, I officially have a Discord. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm starting it from scratch, but I wanna build a community with you guys. I got a lot of great ideas, so click the link down below and join the Discord today. And if you guys want those one shots and those free VST links, it's in the Discord. Number 16, how can I get better at melodies? Hum your melodies, oh my gosh. That's underrated. How many songs do you listen to and it gets stuck in your head and you just like, you don't know the words, but you hum the melody. And if it's catchy and simple enough, you should be able to play it with one hand, like this. You gotta put that song out. <laughs> Number 17, how can I make dark melodies? If you take the third of a minor scale, it determines whether it's happy or sad. So you can really create a lot of tension with that. So I'm gonna use this one shot. That shit sound crazy. This is a minor chord. Sounds good. If I move this third up, it's a major. If I move this down to a sus2 chord, it sounds darker, listen to it. And if I move this up to a four, you're already starting to hear some like very popular Metro songs. And that's like one way you can make dark melodies. Also like half steps like these are also really good for making dark melodies because they're close together and they create that tension. So if you're inspired by Metro or Southside, use these three methods. They work perfectly. Number 18, how can I get those Nardlewick loop sounds? Oh my gosh. You could use the same chords that I just showed you. Some of the BSTs that you can use are Portal, Grandulizer, Gross Beat, Shaper Box, and Finisher Micro, which is free. But geez, y'all gotta get creative with it because this sounds so dark and it'd be sounding like the same. How do I find my next chord? Well, just use the bass notes to find it, so. And then just build on top of them. Number 20, I'm trash at chords and I keep using the same ones. What can I do? Use hooktheory.com. Hook Theory is a website that shows you the chords of popular songs. You could take those and then just switch up the rhythm, change up the key, add some effects, and you might create something new. Is there any free sauce you want to give with melodies? Yes, use Ripcord. Ripcord, you could link to any VST and you can play chords like this.
Number 22, you could burn to MIDI with any chord generator. So if you like these chords, right click and hit burn to MIDI current pattern. And now you got the chords. Number 23, I'm having trouble with people taking me serious because of my appearance. Listen, appearance matters more than you think. You gotta put that shit on, you feel me? And there's people in the music industry that they don't make the greatest music, but they're in the crowd, they're in the scene, and you know, they don't dress like a slob. For one, it's not on you, it's in you. I might not be the best dressed. I at least got stuff that I like that I'm comfortable in. Like if I meet somebody in the movie theater and I tell them what I do, if I look busted and disgusted, they're gonna be like, there's no way this guy does that. He's probably capping. He doesn't care about his appearance. And unfortunately, we live in that world. Like invest in what you wear. Now, now, I'm not saying you gotta dress like this. This is crazy. But you also don't have to dress all Rick Owens out like this, this, or this. None of that. You know, you look like an opium member. Just dress something comfortable, something casual that you like to wear. In all my videos, you've seen me wear different clothes because I like comfortable clothes that I like to wear. This hat is from Cardo Guy Wings' brand. This hat, Beach Noise, is Kendrick Lamar's producers that made Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. It's a conversation starter. This Christopher Kite's chain. Other people don't have it. A lot of these things are statements pieces that I can build a conversation with people with. I didn't think about how important your look is until I went out to like events and I was like, okay, I gotta start wearing clothes. Some of my favorite producers got that shit on. Carter Got Wings, Boy Wonder, Metro, Pharrell, Kanye, you feel me? Like all of them got clothes. Whatever you have, invest in your wardrobe. Like stop playing with these people, bro. Put that shit on. What can I do to get better at music? Bro, super underrated hat. Pay attention to the charts, bro. Listen, there's a reason why they're up on the charts. And yeah, regardless of what you feel about music, it's not real music. Uh, there's a reason why people like that. I'm not saying be a bot and copy what they do. Basically, what I'm saying is just be aware of what people like and study it and try to apply it to what you do right now. What does some Illuminati say? You're a bot. <laughs> Number 25, how can I humanize my melodies? Man, underrated. Go to Edison, hit record, and just play your chords out one by one. And then put them on a playlist, chop them up, and it'll give them like a sample human feel. Number 26, very underrated, but very effective. If you're uninspired, just change the color of your piano roll notes. Like, I promise you, it'll get you out of your zone. I do this like all the time. Simple, but effective. Number 27, if you ever want to save all your sounds, just go to File, hit export and hit project bones or project data. That's not only gonna save all your sounds, but it's gonna save all your presets, all your midis, all your mixer presets, everything in that project file. So instead of doing it one by one, you can just hit a button and do it a lot faster. I also got a 60 second short where I talk about that in depth. So I'll link it down below so you guys can watch it. I'll run that up, please. <laughs> Number 28, please protect your eyes. We're constantly looking at screens. So download this app that I have down below called Flux. It's free. And basically what it does is it protects your eyes by making the screen a little bit I would get a ton of headaches and migraines by looking at the screen 24 seven. So please do that. Number 29, how do I get through beat block? You're not block. You just need to change your approach and try something different. So try a different genre or a different approach to making music. If you're used to clicking stuff in, play it out. If you're used to playing it out, try clicking it in. This is also a great site. It's called radio. And basically you can sample any radio station from different time periods all over the globe. The way it works is you click anywhere on the map and you choose a time period and it'll play a random sample. That sounds crazy. I might actually make a whole video out of this. So if you want that, let me know down in the comments. It's really dope. Definitely get you out your element. Highly recommend if you're struggling with beat block. Number 30, use layers to get inspired. So in FL Studio, there's this thing called layers. If you right click two different sounds, let's try three. And you set children, you can play all of them. So that was 30 producer tips in under 1200 seconds. As you can see, I had to end the video with the haircut. <laughs> I've done these type of videos in the past before that you guys like really love. So I figured why not show you guys 30 more. So if you guys want a part two, let me know down in the comments. I'll get some like special guests to join and drop some of their personal gems as well as like open up some project files for you guys. And yes, project files from songs that are already out. As always, if you guys want some high quality sounds that inspire you, or you want to support the channel, definitely cop something from the Sound Gallery website. The link will be down below, as well as the links for the new Discord, as well as the sounds and the VSTs. I'm back on YouTube, and I'm super excited to share with you guys all these videos that I have filmed and lined up and ready to go. I just wanted this one to be first. So like all YouTubers say, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what else you guys want to see in the comments down below, and I'll make it happen. I'm going to catch you guys next time. That boy got that clean cut. <laughs>